Meanwhile, new developments out of Jordan tonight. The country carries out its promise of revenge for the death of an ISIL hostage. The brutal video surfaced this afternoon, just hours before Jordan's king met with President Obama. Jay Corp is live in Northwest Washington with more. Jay? Allison Jordan, as promised, says it has avenged the savage killing of its military pilot. A government agency reports that Jordan executed two prisoners in just the last hour, including that female terrorist working for Al Qaeda. Protests broke out in Jordan Tuesday night after a video was posted purportedly showing Islamic State terrorists burning alive in a cage. Jordanian pilot. It's just one more indication of the viciousness and uh, barbarity of this organization. Terrorists captured the 26-year-old in December after his F-16 crashed in Syria during a U.S.-led air campaign against the militant group. Tuesday night, Jordan's King Abdullah, already in Washington on a separate diplomatic mission, met with President Obama in the White House earlier in the day. He addressed his nation. In those difficult moments, it is the duty of all the sons and daughters of Jordan to stand together. Military leaders in Jordan, now vowing swift vengeance for Al Qasespa's death, believe the pilot was killed a month ago and that a prison swap suggested by his captures was nothing more than a ruse. And just a short time ago, here at Jordan's embassy in northwest Washington, a man came by and placed that framed picture of the slain military pilot here at the uh, opening gate of the embassy out of respect. We should note that in another development, King Abdullah has cut his trip short here to Washington, D.C. He is heading home. Live in the district, Jake Corf, ABC 7 News.